Uh, they had a pretty good day there today. Tomorrow, another chance of rain. Uh, the very venue you were just looking at, that's what it will be tomorrow. 75 degrees with a 40% chance of rain. That's your Olympic forecast for the night back here at home. Uh, things have uh, come down a little bit temperature-wise over the last few days. 96, for example, out there right now instead of 100. Uh, our evening planning forecast, 93 at 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock tonight looking at about 88 degrees. Now, a few places have been to 100 degrees, namely the Hill Country, including Llano up in San Saba County, quite a few 100s this afternoon. Afternoon. It feels like 100, even where it didn't actually reach the triple digits today, including the airport and Bastrop and Giddings. These are the current heat index temperatures. 96 on the thermometer in the city, and the same out at the airport with partly cloudy skies and winds that are under 10 miles per hour. Sunset 819. Mole count, good news here today. It stayed in the medium category at 752. Uh, the North Texas is still hot, but not like last week. You know, Oklahoma City had three days at 113, uh, 112, that is, three days in a row. Uh, 100 right now. There. 100 in Dallas, 100 degrees in uh, Abilene. Uh, you can tell why, too. Remember, we showed you the big bubble over Texas last week, everything circulating around it. Look where it's circulating now. It's centered over the four corners. We expected it to move west. It's done that. We have a little more moisture, a little more tropical influence. Saw a couple of sprinkles today. We could see a few more isolated showers over the next couple of days. No significant rainmaker. We had hoped that maybe Tropical Storm Ernesto might come up from the Caribbean and give us some rain by this coming weekend. That's not going to happen. Ernesto getting close to hurricane strength with 65 mile per hour winds is forecast to move across maybe the extreme southern part of Mexico, right on the Belize border there. Hurricane warnings are in effect from Chetamal uh, all down the coast of Belize. And then it very likely will track into the Bay of Campeche, the very southern part of the Gulf of Mexico. If it holds together, it would make landfall somewhere so far south that even Brownsville uh, will not get any rain out of this system. So uh, maybe next time, flash flooding rain is possible there in parts of northern Central America and the southern uh, part of the Mexican Yuc Yucatan Peninsula. Back here at home. Uh, Mid-70s is what we're forecasting for tonight. And tomorrow afternoon, upper 90s. Uh, some places will get to 100 degrees, but 98 is our average high, and so can't complain if we're just normal for a change. 75 tonight, some late-night low clouds coming in tomorrow. Uh, let's go 98 or 99. Could an afternoon shower or, uh, flare up tomorrow? It's a possibility. In fact, for the next several days, because that high is not on us, a little tropical influence in the heat of the day can generate a shower or two. We'll continue with a chance all the way to Friday, but probabilities, again, very, very low. Next weekend and early next week, that high will build back our way a little bit. It'll take away rain chances and will send us very near 100 degrees again.